Learning Disabilities There is a Cure Mathematics Learning disabled students innately have an average to superior IQ, but struggle with serious learning skill deficiencies that often interfere with their ability to learn basic skills with ease. For some of these students, mathematics can be very difficult to master, yet so much can be done to improve their mathematical skills. Students with deficiencies in mathematics often have serious weaknesses in the learning skill areas of visual and auditory perception, but in particular with visual and auditory memory. These weaknesses severely hinder their ability to perform well in mathematics. When students copy numbers incorrectly or write numbers in reverse, for example writing a 74 for 47, it is often an indication that there is a weakness in visual perception and or visual memory. Difficulties with memorization of facts and the memorization of the basic steps of mathematical processes that have been presented to students visually can also be an indication that there is a weakness in visual memory. In addition, auditory memory plays an important role in the ability of students to attend, listen, and recall, for example, a an series of numbers or a math multiplication fact that has been presented to them orally by the teacher. Learning disabled students who experience difficulties in mathematics must therefore receive concentrated work for the development of visual and auditory memory and perception as a foundation for basic mathematic skill remediation. Along with the concern for the effect of weak learning skills, it is equally important to concentrate on three major areas of mathematics, basic concepts, computation, and application. Basic concept development involves the ability to comprehend the spatial relationship of numbers. Does the student have a good grasp of the pattern of numbers, the evenness of numbers? How far apart is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10? Can the student fill in the missing numbers of a pattern of numbers? For example, 1, 3, 5, or 33, 55. Once a student begins to acquire a good feeling for pattern of numbers, he will be better equipped to handle, for example, mental mathematical problems that require calculation in his mind without having to use paper and pencil. The second area of concept development involves having a good understanding of the basic fractions such as dividing a whole into parts or understanding how the parts fit together to make the whole. Even preschoolers can begin to understand the concept, for example, of cutting an orange down the middle and how the two halves make a whole. Parents should be encouraged to help their children develop an understanding of basic fraction concepts by having them learn how to follow a simple recipe using a one cup measuring cup and finding fractions of the whole. Children can also be encouraged to develop a sense of fractions using a ruler to find an inch, half inch, quarter of an inch, or one centimeter, and then five millimeters. Lastly, students must have a good concept of mathematical symbols. Learning disabled students often confuse and are uncertain of the meaning of common mathematical symbols. For example, they may confuse the plus and minus signs or not know that the division sign means to divide. They may not understand that the x or asterisk means to multiply or that the term takeaway is synonymous with minus. If instructors use these synonymous symbols and terms interchangeably, they must be certain that their students understand that these symbols and mathematical terms are indicators for the same mathematical operation. The second basic area of mathematics is computation, which includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fractions, percents, mental computation and numerical reasoning. For example, mental computation involves the ability to attend to an orally presented number combination that is to be calculated. 
form images in one's mind of those numbers, hold those numbers in one's mind, and calculate the answer. Numerical reasoning generally involves basic algebraic equations. This form of computation begins with simple problems such as 3 plus what other number equals 5 and advances to basic algebra. Being able to understand basic mathematical facts and how to balance the numbers to the left of the equal sign so that they equal the number or numbers to the right of the equal sign is essential. It involves a good understanding of basic number concepts, including the spatial relationships of numbers. Application. The third basic area of mathematics involves money, measurement, time, word problem solving, and a good understanding of the elements necessary for being able to calculate the answers to a word problem. For example, if a student wants to figure out how much taller Megan is than Michelle, the student needs to know that they cannot possibly answer the question unless they have all of the mathematical facts that they need, in, which in this case is the height of both girls. Or the student needs to be able to reason that if each child in the class needs four crayons, he needs to know how many children there are in the class in order to figure out how many crayons are needed in total. Word problem solving should be an integral part of each computational skill that is taught. Understanding the practical application of mathematics makes it real and helps students to understand the necessity of learning mathematical calculations and formulas. Students with learning deficiencies often experience difficulty switching from one type of problem to another. However, word problems that require students to use different techniques should be presented to students, requiring them to become accustomed to switching from one type of calculation to another. For example, if subtraction of numbers up to 5 was just taught, exercises involving the subtraction of these numbers should be presented with the interspersing of previously taught addition of these numbers. The more learning disabled students are made to switch their thinking from one type of calculation to the other, the earlier, the easier it comes for them to change their thinking from one mode of calculation to another. When working with word problems, students need to be taught to think carefully about the problem, analyze it, and then determine the correct process before they begin to calculate the answer that is needed to solve the problem. Interestingly, the same mathematical teaching techniques that have been proven to work for learning disabled students also work well with students who experience difficulty with mathematics but who are not what we would classify as learning disabled. For more information on specific teaching techniques for mathematics as well as reading, written expression, eye-hand coordination, study and specific learning skills, check out the book Learning Disabilities There is a Cure by Addie Cusimano at www.achievepublications.com.